Hey everyone, I welcome you all to this session. And today in this video, we are going to discuss about the data analyst roadmap in 2025. So in some organizations, this role can be referred to as the business analyst's position as well. So it depends upon the organization, but generally speaking, we're discussing about data analyst roadmap in 2025, right? So moving ahead, um, the very first subject that uh, according to me, you should complete as a statistics. Why statistics? Because uh, stats is something that will certainly enhance and increase your understanding about the data. And uh, when your understanding about the data improves, it becomes easier for you to work as a data analyst, right? And uh, uh, when I say it becomes easier to work as a data analyst, it means that uh, it will become easier for you to help the stakeholders or the uh, key business people to take best possible data driven business decisions in least possible time, right? So you can help them in decision making, data driven decision making. Uh, because your understanding about the data uh, is already good, right? So that's certainly, certainly going to help you in your job. Once you've completed stats, the second subject that you should complete is uh, the language that you should complete as SQL. So SQL or SQL basically refers to structured query language. And I do not think that hardly there can be any roles in the market. There are any roles in the market where for a data analyst position, SQL is not mandatory or not required. I can't comment on the exceptions, but certainly this is the most important subject that you should be aware of you must know sql right and uh, you can uh, learn sql using different uh, uh, database management systems you may learn using sql server microsoft sql server or mysql so that's a different point but again learning this language is important you must have knowledge of sql once you've completed sql uh, you should then complete Power BI, right? So Power BI, basically it's a BI tool and it's a Microsoft's uh, product. So Power BI can basically be used to clean the data, prepare the data, structure it, model it, and using it, we can create reports and dashboards. So in the reports and the dashboards, we basically uh, use visuals and uh, we try to show the insights using those visuals, right? We basically create uh, visually appealing reports and dashboards to convey the insights so that we will be able to help the businesses we will be able to help the stakeholders to take best possible data driven decisions right so all that can be achieved all that can be done with the help of this uh, powerful tool that is power bi right so you should then complete power bi once you have completed sql and power bi starts sql and power bi you should then create a portfolio and start applying for jobs right so um when it comes to publishing your work to github i'll be providing the link to one of my videos youtube videos in the description box below you can refer to that video as well um, on how to publish the work to github uh, your power bi reports and everything uh, because it will be required to show your work to the interviewer or recu recruiter you need to mention everything in your cv right because it can ultimately assist you help you in getting hired as a data analyst and uh, once you you have learned up to power bi your practice must not stop right once you have learned that how reports and dashboards can be created how everything can be done up to power bi you have learned you've completed you should not stop practicing just pick any data set from kaggle or from any other in anywhere and just start practicing keep on practicing and you are now already applying for jobs so the time or the moment at which you're applying for jobs you should also start learning microsoft excel because uh, this is also one of the important tools that can be used for data analysis. And in fact, there can be rules in the market where uh, they can your role can purely be uh, dependent on these two subjects, that is SQL and Excel. So there can be rules for SQL Power BI, there can be rules for SQL Excel, there can be rules for SQL Tableau, can be rules data analyst position for SQL Python. And in fact, there can be role for uh, data analysts where all these subjects can be required or might be SQL, Power BI and Excel can be required. So depending upon different companies or different organizations, different requirements can be there. So uh, you should start learning Excel uh, at, at the same time when you are applying for jobs, right? And uh, in fact, there are uh, organizations or companies in the market that might not even ask SQL in the interviews because they expect that Excel is something that you are already aware of. And for a data analyst's position, there are certain topics that you must be aware of, right? Because there can be a lot of topics that uh, you can go through, but um, there, are, there are certain topics which are very much important for a data analyst. So you have to complete that much part, right? Like the lookup functions, the pivot tables, uh, you must be aware of uh, the topics, these topics. Now moving ahead, uh, once you have completed Excel, you should complete Tableau. 
uh, as well because uh, Tableau is again one of the uh, widely used tools in the industry and it is also a BI tool just like Power BI and it can also be used to create beautiful reports and dashboards using which we can help the businesses or the stakeholders to take data driven uh, business decisions right so then you should complete a go for Tableau once you have completed Tableau you should then complete Python um, again it is also Python is also a language uh, that they might ask in the interviews and uh, uh, they might expect you to know this Python as well because uh, there are roles for data analysts in the market where Python is also used for the data visualization work and all the related work. So then you should complete Python. Now, in order to learn about all these subjects, you can go for our data analyst bootcamp. So I would now like to discuss about my data analyst bootcamp where we have covered all these subjects and it can be pretty much helpful and beneficial for you if you want to break into the data industry by becoming a data or a business analyst. And uh, it has rating of more than 4.5 and um, it is available at a very minimal price of like around 399 rupees as of now. And you can see that there are more than 17,300 enrollments so far. So if I would now like to talk about the curriculum, so you should see that first of all, we have already uploaded more than 71 hours of content. Uh, in the beginning, when we launched this course, we already promised that we'll be uploading more content. So at that time, we were having around 52 hours of content and 51 hours of content, I think. And after that, uh, like almost around 20 hours of content has already been added and we will still keep on enhancing it. We will try to include more projects in it. So we have covered everything that is required uh, from the point of becoming a data analyst, right from um, your Python to statistics to SQL to uh, your Power BI. And in Power BI, there are some important topics that you can expect uh, questions and interviews from these topics like DAX. So we have covered these topics as well. We have added projects as well. So for Power BI, we have added projects. There are projects where SQL and Power BI has been taken care of. So um, we have covered all this part. We have covered Microsoft Excel. There are lectures for Tableau. There are lectures for Snowflake as well. So we have added, added uh, this additional section for Snowflake as well. And uh, we've also discussed about uh, projects wherein we have uh, connected to the data from uh, the cloud platforms like AWS, right? So you can further refer to the curriculum. I'll be providing the link to this course in the description box below as well. You can go through it and uh, in fact, uh, there is uh, one month of uh, uh, period allowed wherein you can try this course and you can go for a refund and you should at least try this course out and it is available only at 399. So I hope this video was helpful and uh, we'll meet in the next session and we'll discuss about other important topics and other important things for a data analyst. So I hope this video was helpful. We'll meet in the next session. Till then, thank you. Bye.